Hey guys, Jill here. I am going to be doing these five minute or less tip of the week videos. Um, whether it be about gardening, farming, preserving the harvest, really nothing is off limits with these videos. I just feel like these short and sweet um, helpful videos are gonna be super beneficial to you guys. And as I'm out in the garden doing things, I think hmm, this would be really helpful in just a short little video. So this morning I'm outside um, examining my plants, looking them over for squash bugs and things like that. So I thought I'd do a quick little pest control video on what I do that kind of makes the pest manageable in my garden. Now you guys know um, we practice as naturally and organically as we can. The only thing we put on our plants is usually like one, sometimes two treatments of neem oil and diatomaceous earth. Other than that, nothing goes on our plants, which means I use my fingers quite a bit for our pest control. But this is a really beneficial tip. Uh, so yeah, let me show you guys what I do. All right, so when I come out through the garden, I just walk through and inspect my plants. So I'm going through and I'm looking for visible squash bugs that I can just hand pick off. What I am also doing is flipping up the back of my leaves and looking on every single one for squash bug eggs. Now I just found some and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so right here is what squash bug eggs look like before they turn into those pesky little squash bugs. And what you wanna do is just go in, peel these off and squish them. You do wanna be careful because you can damage your plant. I'm really bad about poking holes in my leaves when I do this. But when you're getting these off, you're preventing them from ever developing and becoming a real nuisance in your garden. So I have found that this is just a really, really easy way to stay on top of your pests. And the way I look at it, I do this with my tomatoes too. Instead of designating a certain amount of time to where I have to go inspect my plants and look for, for pests, like when I'm pruning my tomatoes, I'm already designating time to that plant anyway. So why not when I'm cutting out a sucker, lift up the uh, leaf on my tomato and see if there's aphids and kill it. So I'm not spending a lot of extra time on a plant. It's time that I already had to designate to that plant anyways. And I found by doing that, it one, it seems like less of a chore, and two, I stay on top of the pest problem much more. If you think about it, um, if you're pruning your tomatoes every single day, you're handling that plant daily. So if you can daily uh, scrape off aphids and things like that, it's just not gonna become a huge issue. So for me, I am looking through this squash plant every single day just for visible issues or fruit that may be coming on or whatever. So it's really not taking a lot more of my time just to look for those eggs and pick them off as I find them. It's been super, super beneficial for me. I hope you guys will try this in your garden and I hope it'll help you stay on top of your pests this year. So that is my five minute or less tip of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you soon.